This is the correct charging signal. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hello everyone, welcome back to I'm the Repair Tech channel. Today we have an iPhone 8. It's not charging. Wow! The display connector slashed in half. Half of it here and the other half is on display. So we have a broken display connector. That means the display itself needs to be replaced. And we have a resistor moved from its place and we don't have the battery information MOSFET we need to bring back the resistor to its original place here and do jumper to the MOSFET from here to there because this is screwing up the battery information which is health and temperature and percentage Now let's remove this socket. I don't want to destroy the socket on the board. So hopefully this will come out in one piece. Three piece, no problem. I just don't want to screw the, the connector on the board. Now let's connect the dock connector and test display and it's consuming 10, 20, 1 amp but the phone is still not turning on or maybe has a problem in display but what I see that the amps is not stable, the current it's drawing from the charger, it's not stable let me connect it to power supply and check the current it's drawing from the power supply. I turn off the power supply to attach the screen. Now I turn on my power supply and turn the phone on. Okay, it's consuming normal amps, but the display is not working. Okay, here I should get an OL. Now I get 1.4. Let's get back to this later. Okay, what's wrong with you? Oh, now it's oil. It's okay. So let me change the display. The phone is consuming amps and it's turning on, but the display is still not working. And all the resistance values is okay. So let's connect the iBridge to measure the display output voltages from the display PMU. And iBridge is amazing solution for such thing. With iBridge you can check the resistance values under your microscope without looking to ZXW. So let me double check 37 and it gives me 400 that's okay this small values difference is not a problem okay oil okay this very high resistance so it will give you an oil but I see on my multimeter because my multimeter is precision multimeter and it's very expensive you can find it in the description box below uh, it show me there is a resistance here but it's not showing me a number because it's very high resistance if you see uh, incorrect number uh, that's because the multimeter is connected through USB so there is a bit delay so now let's check the voltages we have to turn on the phone with the display connected and now the screen is working I don't know what the f this phone is doing it's messing me up I don't understand when I connect two screens to the board it didn't work but now when I connect it to iBridge it's f***ing working 
let's do it again. Let's connect the screen again. And now it's not working again. What? What? The phone is working, but the LCD is not working. Yeah, you see? All the filters, all the small components are moving. My temperature is 200. It's not uh, gonna remove any components from the boards. Only weak components will go. You see? You see? There is some components sticking to the board and there is some other components are flying. If you have a filter is not attached to the board properly, it will give you a resistance. But then the function or the option will not work. How many filters we have here? The first one and the third one are filters as well. They are pretty strong. They are not moving. Okay, we don't need to change them. And as you can see, the display is working now. So let's check the charging. Connect the charger. It is not consuming any amps. Okay, let's measure the charging voltage. Let's check the 5 voltage for the charger. 4.5 volt. So the flex cable is working and the charger uh, delivering the 5 voltages for the phone to charge. The output voltage 1.1. That's not enough for the phone to charge or to turn on. We need here 3.7 minimum. We have two candidates can do this problem. It's the charger I see or the M5500. The M5500, it's uh, just a chip has some coils inside and the coil which doing the switching in the back switch circuit on that phone is in that chip. If I wanna check the back switch, if it's working or no, I have to check here by oscilloscope. So here you can see the signal. There is no signal. There is a voltage, but there is no signal. You can see now no voltage. Now there is a voltage but no signal. Let me change the charging IC first. If this phone came to me, nobody screw with it. It would be very easy to fix it in very less time. But how? How? We have to try ourselves first, then we bring the phone to Ayman. Uh, no need to ball. I already made a clean lift. And now you will see me screwing it. Come on! Okay, go, go, go! Good boy! Good boy! Now let's test it! 5 volts input, 3.6 output. And the phone is working and detecting on the computer with no display. So it's not the filters I 
made a Jember 4. Let's do Jember 4 MIPI. I hate this device. got display all what I want now is to see the percentage of the charging that's it that's all what I want then I will go home come on come on come on come on yes yes Yes, it's charging and 12% is the charging percentage. Give it a minute to see if it will increase and we got 13%. I hope you can see it. If you not see it here, I can show it to you on three tools. We got to 13% and finally that's mean that the phone is charging and the battery information is there this is the correct charging signal and you can see it disappear and appear again because there is no battery so now let's do a solder mask on the jumper I did to the MOSFET and from iPhone 8 and up charging issues not from USB I see anymore it's from the Tigris I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you got a value leave me a comment and give me a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any of my coming videos. Till then we can call this done and I'll see you next one. See you guys.